Hello, everybody. Hey, welcome to our April market update. We're back. It's great. The numbers are in, so you know how much I always love the numbers, and I know you do too. So we're going to jump right in here and talk about the numbers of the market. Ventura so County. These are Ventura County real estate market numbers uh, year to date. So new listings up 15.4%. Sold listings down 2.65%. The median sold price is nine hundred and ten thousand. That's up seven point six nine percent. The average sold price is a million one forty six. That's up eight point seven nine percent. So these numbers are just year to date. Days on market is down. Um, it was thirty eight. Now it's thirty two days. So you can expect your house to, if it's priced right, is going to sell. You know, in about a month, based on what's happening right now. Based on this. So the only one down then is days on market, which right. is good for a seller. That's right. Um, the uh, list to sold ratio is at 99.8%. So the last year or two, it's been at 100 plus, which we know we'd never seen before in our decades of doing this. But now it is at 99.8%. So what that tells you is if your home is priced right, uh, it's going to sell right about at the asking price. It is. Now, one thing that we haven't seen before based on our experience is when interest rates go up, prices come down. This is an anomaly. This time interest rates have gone up and prices have continued to go up right along with them. Mm -hmm. So that's a supply and demand factor for sure. It's election year, everything gets crazy around elections. Uh, whether or not that we're gonna have lower interest rates, I would guarantee, almost guarantee that we're not gonna see higher rates now, they might stay unchanged. I foresee them getting a little lower as it gets closer. If interest rates come down, that's going to push up prices even higher. Yeah, I think that, that anything could happen between now um, and, and, and the election, the way things have gone now. But like you said, it's unusual to have interest rates going up and prices going up, and that's just a sign of, of the supply and demand. Um, but if you're looking to do something... You know, it's waiting has not served anyone. Um, it has served the sellers and as the prices keep continuing to go up, um, but the buyers, they shouldn't be sitting on the sideline waiting because rates are going up and prices are going up. Right, I mean, if we go back to the last time of the housing crisis of 2007 and 2008, we were looking at very good pricing, but very few people could get a loan. I mean, they just basically took out all the, the loans where you sign your name with no income or basically no credit checks even, and you got a loan. Those days have long gone, and we don't see those coming back. No, no. It's, if you haven't bought a home in, in a while, getting a loan is, is a whole new ball game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. So I just wanted to give you the update there. Another fun fact that I came across um, was the most popular rooms to remodel. And I thought this was really interesting because, you know, what is number one always? Kitchen. The kitchen, always. Um, now, before you go jump into a huge kitchen remodel, definitely get, uh, give us a call so we can give you some guidance, and we're happy to do that. So number one was kitchen. Number two, guest bathroom, primary bathroom, living room, guest bedroom. And the one that was a surprise to me that was number 10 of the top 10 was a home office. You would think I thought that would be higher up on the list since everyone pretty much needs a home office these days, um, but it is number 10 on the rooms that people are remodeling. Um, another piece of statistical data here that I pulled up that from another source, January to March, so first quarter, these numbers are hot off the press, the average sales prices, I just run through, Oxnard is up 22% in first quarter, average sales price $1,055,000, Ventura up 2%, average sales price $942,000, Camrio up 12%, at a million seventy nine sales price, Thousand Oaks up fourteen percent, uh, average sales price a million two sixteen, and Westlake up six percent, average sales price just under two million. So uh, that is the latest update on what's happening in the market. And you know we are active. We've had listings come on. We've got a couple more that are getting ready to come on, and it's we've had some fascinating conversations at our open houses with. Uh, buyers and just talking about the market because you know we love to talk about real estate. Yes, we do. The the statistic here for Oxnard twenty two percent 
in the first quarter. Now, Oxnard is Ventura County's largest city, and it has some very expensive beachfront properties. Mm -hmm. So if a couple of those sell and you throw that in the median price, it can sure make a big difference. I would say if you've got a million dollar home now in the first quarter, I don't think it's a million two fifty now, but the market overall is up 22%. Unbelievable. And also, a couple of things that aren't on this list that return 100% of your money back. New roof, new garage door. So whatever you spend on those, you get that money back. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was just having a thought that went out of my head. Okay, well that <laughs> thought was there and gone. <laughs> hey guys, Oh, I know what I was going to say. Oh. I remember, oh. sorry, cut that. Um, so one more thing, uh, the last couple of listings that we brought on, we remodeled them almost, you know, painted them top to bottom, cleaned them up. It is not a time to put your home on the market and just throw it out there. Those days are, are not now. Um, they've both been completely um, painted top to bottom and scraped the ceilings and gotten them all freshened up and cleaned. So um, that is something that we can help you do. We have the resources to do it. So um, let us know. Absolutely. You caught that thought just in time. Yep. GaryandLisa.com. Your real estate edge. Thank you.